Hello, my name is Stephen Daniel with the Advice Serviceability Engineering Team. This video tutorial will show you how to establish privileges for your Secure Access Link Policy Server 1.5 users with profiles and roles. The admin user account in your SAP Policy Server is the only account by default that can perform all administrative actions and tasks. You can, however, define profiles and roles to assign specific privileges to your SAP Policy Server users. With this approach, you could then delegate certain administrative tasks to limited individuals. What you need to know. Profiles define the specific components and privileges you intend to assign. Roles are created for the purpose of encompassing a group of users and are attached to specific profiles. Users are created and assigned roles, which by virtue then inherit the privileges that come with this role profile attachment. With respect to workflow, it is not required that you create profiles and roles prior to creating users, but it is required that you create them before you can assign them to users. You can assign roles to users in one of two ways. Create profiles, create roles, then assign existing users to roles. Or you can create profiles, create roles, create users, assign a role to user during user creation. For this tutorial, we will demonstrate both methods. Begin by logging into your SAP Policy Server with the admin account. Once authenticated, on the top right of the screen, click on Administration. After the administration page loads, we have links to view our profiles, roles, and users. We also have a new link that we'll use to create our profiles, roles, and users. As mentioned in the introduction, I will first create my profile, then my role, and finally demonstrate how we can assign that role to an existing user and a new user that I create. You'll also notice that I currently have no profiles or roles defined, but do have one user, John Doe, predefined for the purpose of this demonstration. Let's begin by creating our profile. Click on New, then from the list, click Profile. Now, in my example, I will be creating a profile which will provide the necessary permissions to view, add, and edit the policy on my policy server. From the Create Profile page, You'll need to provide a required profile name and optional description. Once those details have been provided, you'll then need to place a check mark next to each checkbox for any privileges you would like this profile to contain. For the policy server component, I'll place a check mark next to the view and to the add edit privileges. With that complete, I'll click on the submit button on the bottom of the page to commit my changes. You can now see we have an entry listed for the profile we just created. We'll next need to create a role for which we intend to assign and attach this profile to. It's best and probably easiest to name your roles and profiles in similar fashion. Also, keep in mind that there is a dependency between your roles and profiles. You must therefore take caution before deleting profiles in particular, as doing so will render any roles assigned this profile inactive and as a result, remove the associated privileges for many users assigned this role. On to our role. Again, from the Administration page, click on New, then click on Role. From the Create Role page, enter the required role name and an optional description. When that's complete, press Next. From the Assign Profiles to Role page, highlight the profile that you would like to assign from the Available Profiles box, then press the left to right arrow to move the profile into the selected profile box. When that's complete, press Next. We now arrive at the Assign Users to Roles screen. Again, as mentioned in the introduction, this is optional, but can save you time if the user or users you intend to assign this role to already exist. Let's take the opportunity to assign this role to our user John Doe. Under Available Users, I will click the checkbox next to John Doe, then click the Add Checked button. You can see that moved the user down to the Selected Users section. Once that's done, I'll press Next and arrive at the final screen, Confirm Role Details. If you need to make any changes at this point, you can use the Back button, or if your changes are complete, press the Finish button to commit your changes. Again, like it was for Profiles, notice that we now have an entry for our role listed here. We have now successfully assigned our role to an existing user. Let's lastly look at how we could assign this role to a user during user creation. Again, from the Administration page, click on New, then click User. You'll be asked to first authenticate with your admin user and password before proceeding. 
Once authenticated, provide the details for your user. You'll need to provide the required parameters of username, full name, password, and confirmation of password, and optional parameters of email address, phone number, and fax number. Now, be careful that you do not check the administrator checkbox, as doing so will give this user full administrative privileges, and that is not our goal here. With the details filled out, I'll go ahead and press Next. From the Assign Roles to User page, highlight the role from the list of available roles you would like to assign to this user. Then click the left to right arrow to move the role to the selected roles box. Remember, our role is already associated with a given profile, so this user will inherit the privileges of that profile assigned to this role. Let's press next to continue. We're now at the final step where we can confirm our user details. Again, if you need to make any changes, use the back button and make the required edits. Otherwise, press finish to commit your changes. Looking now at the list of our users, you can see here we now have John Doe and Jane Doe both assigned the role of Role Policy Admin. And that's how you assign your policy server users permissions with profiles and roles. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.